store, shoe shop, black, beauty parlor. Black and wrong. Black. Blacks own all of that stuff. But everybody in Walltown wasn't doing the same. You know, my aunt, my aunt was an entrepreneur. She sold liquor. And my uncles sold liquor like in the slow house. They called it a slow house. Okay. All right. At a shop. Gotcha. And uh, my uncles made liquor. We had we owned everything. You know, we had uh, our own grocery store, a shoe shop. We had Rick Mason, we had teachers, we had uh, Coach Willie Bradshaw over there. We had our own uh, funeral home. And when you say we, so Walltown was all black? All black. Okay. So I, wa I once wrote a book called Four Streets and Four Blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I I, told, I wrote that book, which uh, talked a lot about you know my life history. <laughs> sunbathing and stuff like that. Yeah. When you walk past Duke, you get to walk like this. Look the other way. Yeah, if them, one of them kids say that you looked over there and said, man, the police be all over the place. Sometimes I had to have to practice, you know, I didn't have money to catch the bus or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Coach Easton, and not not even catching the bus, sometimes Coach Easton would just take me by, they, they own the college inn. He college inn is a uh, for those who don't know, that's, that was like a bar restaurant. Yeah, right beside W. W. Immigration Center on Federal Street. Okay. And uh, you know, he and his wife own that. And so when I go there, Miss uh, Miss Eastland, uh, Coach Eastland like chicken. And, uh, they had they had the chicken laid out. Me and Coach said, "Man, you, you yeah, you feed me before you take me home." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you drive over there and drop me off. And then you got to have wisdom. You got to be open to learn new things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you must be determined. If you decide that you want to do something, shoot up. My mama told me, don't come in here whining, shoot up and get it done. Be determined. Don't listen to all this stuff people tell you what you're not going to be. Mm -hmm. Don't let somebody else determine your destiny. You do. And then I found out that you have to be loyal. People that have reached out, reached out and pulled you up, you know, do it for somebody else. Reach down. You got other kids out here, you don't have to be your child. And you see some kid out there, you know. Try to reach out to some other kids. Yeah.